Honorable Minister of Environment, Water, and Climate of the Republic of Zimbabwe, and the Chair of the African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology, AMCOMET, Honorable Mukhtar Abdukarim Adam, the Minister of Environment, Forestry, and Physical Development from Sudan, Honorable Jami Fuba Kamumbi, Minister of the Transport, Works, Supplies, and Communication from Zambia, the Zambian Ambassador, the Namibian Ambassador, Honorable Ministers here present, uh, Dr. Makarau, Director of the Department of Meteorology Services, Zimbabwe, and Chair of the Expert of the African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology, Dr. Mukabana, the Executive Secretary of the AMCOME Secretariat, eminent experts and permanent representatives of the World Meteorological Organizations here present, representative of the regional economic communities here present from SADA, COMESA, SENSA, ECOWAS, EAC, ECAS, EGAD, and AMU here present, representatives of the African regional institutions, ACMAD, AGRIMET here present, representatives of the African Union Commission, representatives of the AMCOMES Secretariat, representatives of development partners, United Nations agencies, WMO here present, members of the diplomatic corps, members of the press and media corps, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to apologize on behalf of my honorable commissioner, Her Excellency, Mrs. Rudapis Tumisime, who would have loved to be here personally, but due to other urgent matters, she could not be here. She has asked me to represent her, and I now read this statement on her behalf. It is a pleasure and honor for me, on behalf of the African Union Commission, to address honorable ministers, members of the tax forces of the African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology, AMCOMET, meeting here in Harare from 26 to 28 May 2014, in preparation for the AMCOMED Bureau meeting that is holding back to back from 29 to 30 May 2014. Honorable Ministers, Mr. Chair, let me begin first and foremost by transmitting the warm wishes of Her Excellency, Dr. Nkuzazana Delamine Zuma, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, and my own personal greetings to you all. I would have loved to be here personally to be with you but due to some pressing urgent matters, I cannot be here. Allow me to take this opportunity to express my deep appreciation to the government and the people of Zimbabwe for hosting these meetings of the AMCOMED Tax Forces and the Bureau here in Harare. Honorable Ministers, Mr. Chair, at this junction, let me recognize and welcome all delegates, honorable ministers, chair, and the members of the AMCOMED Bureau tax forces, eminent experts from the member states, regional economic communities, African regional institutions and development partners participating at these meetings. Permit me also to use this forum to commend the AMCOMED Secretariat, the World Meteorological Organization for our continued collaborations and for engaging consultants to support the AMCOMED tax forces to develop the draft implementation and resource mobilization plan and the facilitation of the establishment of the Regional Climate Center in Central Africa in preparation for the third AMCOMED session that is scheduled to hold later this year. I have no doubt that the consultants have done a good and a thorough job, and I'm glad that the AMCOMED Secretariat will be reporting on progress at this meeting. Honorable Ministers, <coughs> Mr. Chair, I am delighted that the AMCOMED, in collaboration with the African Union Commission, is implementing the decision of the AU Executive Council adopted in January 2013 on the report of the second session of the African Union Conference of Ministers Responsible for Meteorology and the African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology, AMCOMET, held here in Zimbabwe in Victoria Falls from 15 to 19 October 2012. Allow me to take note of the various meetings held in February 2014 in Addis Ababa that assisted the experts and the stakeholders to discuss the draft implementation 
and resource mobilization plan, and the meetings held at the levels of the regional economic communities. First, with the, African, with the Eastern African Community, EAC, in Arusha, Tanzania, from 5 to 7th May, 2014, and in Banjo, the Gambia, from 15th to 16th May, 2014, that brought together the regional economic communities and member states from the Economic Committee of Western Africa states, ECOWAS, along with the Economic Committees of Central African states, ECAS, and the Arab Maghreb Union, AMU, which facilitated the RECs and the member states to validate the draft implementation and resource mobilization plan. Honorable Ministers, Mr. Chair, the convening of this meeting of the AMCOMED Tax Forces and Bureau are very unique and at a period in time when the African Union Commission is hosting and co-hosting and co-convening co -convening many activities. The metrology meeting would have, would no doubt, add value to the work of the Commission and facilitate the imp improvement of meteorological and art observation data in the African continent, thereby leading to poverty elevation, improved livelihood of the rural populace, and sustainable development. Honorable Ministers, Mr. Chair, allow me, before I conclude, to brief you that the Addis Ababa Declaration on the implementation of the Global Framework for, implement for Climate Services, GFCS, in Africa included the establishment of regional climate centers in Africa. And I would like to implore the tax force to consider and designate climate centers of excellence in the five regions of Africa where in, ex in existence, including the Indian Ocean for effective implementation of the integrated African strategy on metrology and improved climate services. Honorable ministers, Mr. Chairman, I would like to take much, I would not like to take much of your time since you have a heavy agenda ahead of you for the next two days, but to end my brief remarks by assuring you all that the African Union Commission is fully committed to support AMCOMED uh, activities, particularly the implementation of the integrated African strategy on metrology, weather and climate services, the implementation and resource mobilization plan, the establishment of the regional climate centers in Central African region, the African Regional Space Program, and the implementation of the global framework for climate services in Africa. Honorable ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you productive outcome at this meeting of the tax forces and the Bureau of AMCOMED. I thank you all for your kind attention. Asante sana.